Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jeff Guy here, and in today's video we have a playoff game against the uh, Ireland Shamrocks. This is formerly uh, the Washington Commanders. They have relocated. Probably a good move for their franchise. Uh, we did have two simulated games at the end of the year. Opponents just kind of didn't want to play, um, so we got some sim wins, which is always great. Um, you know, we, we want to earn stats, we want to do stuff. Um, but you know, we'll take the wins. We wind up as the two seed, I believe, uh, in the entire NFL is we're going to take a look at the stats from the full year as Malik Willis puts up 4,800 yards, 48 touchdowns, uh, to 23 interceptions. As you can see, Will Levis Titans users, a little cheesy, um, puts up 71 touchdowns. We're second in the league in touchdowns with 48, second in the league, I believe, in passing yards, a uh, third in the league in passing yards. So great year for Malik Willis. He should go up at Super Bowl time. Uh, Bijan's not going to show up on this list. I don't believe he broke a thousand yards. Uh, oh, you got 890, uh, 5.4 yards per carry, seven touchdowns. That's great. Uh, we're obviously a passing offense, so we kind of want him to be a pass or receiver. Uh, as you can see, Titans continuing to be cheesy. Uh, traded for Kyle Pitts before I got this team, uh, 1900 yards, 19 touchdowns. I wish he could do that in fantasy in real life, but he simply cannot. Uh, none of our guys are really going to show up here. Shemi Otto comes in with a thousand yards. I think, uh, Justin Jefferson had a thousand yards. Uh, and I believe actually, uh, Bijan Robinson came pretty close with 952 and seven. So 14 total touchdowns from Bijan, a great year in his second year. Uh, we're going to go to our team to look at defense, um, because it's not worth s sifting through. Uh, everyone else is so uh, 11 sacks for Daniel Hunter nine from Jonathan Allen six and a half from Khalil Mack so good pressure from the three guys we brought in this year um, no no real pressure from the guys who were on this team originally which makes a lot of sense 10 interceptions from Kalon Barnes proving to be one of the best acquisitions we made just able to user him uh, in that slot corner spot and just you know do things on defense which is always great Darnell Snap Savage Brandon Eccles both got five so they did Pretty, pretty well. Uh, and then no picks, which is kind of shocking to me, uh, for Brandon Hill, who is our primary user, 23 years old, 5'11", uh, star development, 92 speed, 87 hit power. He's a really good player. I didn't get a single interception all year with him, which is a little surprising, but, you know, considering Caitlin Barnes got 10 uh, and was, I believe, third in the league, uh, we'll take it. Uh, overall, good year. We have a lot to improve on on this team. We do have the third overall pick, uh, and this is the most popular user class, um, which is so it's real NFL players uh, or upcoming NFL players. So we've got Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison, Joe Alt, a bu bunch of those guys up top. Uh, we have the third overall pick, and I believe the, the first two guys are going to go quarterback. So we could be in a position to pair uh, Justin Jefferson with Marvin Harrison Jr., which would be kind of sick uh, if we don't want to replace Malik Willis, depending on how high he goes up in development uh, and how well he does in the playoffs. Um, Olu Fushanu is definitely a guy I'm looking at, uh, probably a beast, uh, really important to have beastly offensive linemen if you don't have to draft them all that highly or put too much into them. Brock Bowers, I love, but the guy I'm really looking at is Leatu Latu. Um, you know, Khalil Mack's probably retiring before the end of his contract. Daniil Hunter's getting older. Jonathan Allen's getting older. And you don't really see A's across the board ever, like in Madden. So this is clearly a user-generated class. He is 23, so it's a little bit older. Um, but elite speed, elite jumping, elite excel, good strength. Like, how can I not go get this guy? And how can I not go make him my franchise right end? So I'm thinking at I'm looking at him. Brock Bowers would be great, but we do have good tight ends. Uh, so I'd love to get him. Probably not in the cards. So it's either going to be Marvin Harrison Jr., Caleb Williams, if he falls to me and we don't like what Malik Willis does moving forward or Leatu Latu are going to be the picks. Uh, make sure you stick around for the draft because depending on when we get eliminated, it could be the next video that we do that draft. So make sure you you know subscribe, comment, make sure you're following along so you get the updates on this franchise. All right. So here is the Shamrocks roster reminder that they are the former Washington commanders. So we got Sam Howell, who's a starting quarterback. Nothing special, but this user is pretty good. He's one of the co-commissioners with me in this one. Uh, 23 years old, 93 throw power, 82 speed. Uh, he's, you know, a discount what we have with Malik Willis. None of us or neither of us are going to have abilities on our quarterbacks. So that's going to be an equalizer for us. And if you think about it, another equalizer positions. He has Saquon Barkley, who has, you know, somehow stayed in the NFC East. Uh, getting that plus three speed boost. Uh, he's a monster. 
Uh, we did play this guy earlier this year, and Saquon got hurt during that game, which was massive. Uh, we got shredded by him early on in that game, so hopefully we can you know, do that again. Uh, Terry McLaurin, eh, Terry McLaurin, obvious monster, uh, has a couple of abilities himself as he's boosted up to a 98 overall. Uh, he's a beast. He's going to parallel very well to Justin Jefferson. Um, and then, like I've mentioned with other teams, like I'm not worried about secondary receivers. Uh, just that we have good corners um, and we should be able to lock him down. Janu Smith revenge game uh, as he's now a commander or a shamrock. They have a decent offensive line. Leno, Wiley, Stromberg, Noel, Cosme, fine. The strength of this team has always been the defensive line. So Chase Young, monster. Montez Sweat, monster. And then uh, Grady Jarrett, who we traded to uh, the Shamrocks in exchange for Jonathan Allen, uh, is there, as well as Deron Payne. So he's got really good defensive line. Uh, he does have a rookie user linebacker, 91 speed, uh, 6'1", pretty pretty solid player there. So we got to watch out for him. Uh, Jamin Davis is good. And then the corners, like he's got boosted speed, guys. Um, so we do have to worry about the outsides for sure. Uh, but we're going to hop right into this game. Let's get it. All right, this is probably going to be the toughest test uh, in the NFC here as uh, the road looks relatively clear for us. Um, the Packers are the team on the other side that I'm looking at um, that we'll probably be matched up with next if we win this game. Uh, and we lost in a really fluky game to him earlier in the year. So I do believe our team has improved enough to get this win. Um, and then it would just be the Cardinals, who I believe I could beat as well. Um, so... If we get out of this game, I feel good about a potential longer playoff run. So the name of the game here is going to be controlling the ball, making good decisions as Bijan Robinson's already tired. Um, so we are going to make sure we filter in some Dalvin Cook in this game. We can't not. Uh, sorry, we can't afford to have a lot of mistakes. Um, I, I've already made one by not going on conservative uh, ball carry. So if there's a fumble in the first play, you know, that's why it happens. We're going to take a look at the abilities. Swim Club, Stonewall, Edge Threat. Cam Curl is a superstar. I'm not overly worried about him. Um, but this should this might be a situation pending on that change um, where I could hit Dalvin out of the backfield. So I'm going to come out, come out and see how that looks. Um, and we'll go from there. As he did, he just audible down to what makes it look better for me. So and we should have Dalvin. Oh, no, we don't. Throw it away. Okay. All right. Just, just test out. See what he comes out in. That looked like it was a cover three shell. Um, so we can start to look for cover three beaters later on. Um, so we're going to come out and pass here and try to get Justin Jefferson open. Um, if we don't, we could probably get Devin Tompkins right there. He's open. One man miss. Good. Great play. Great play. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like Devin, we're running out with Devin Tompkins and Danny Gray as our wide receiver two and three. Imagine a scenario where one of those guys is Marvin Harrison Jr. Like, at that point, who cares what Malik Willis looks like? You know, all he's got to do is just not screw it up. We're going to take a check on. We probably had Jefferson a little bit deeper, um, but I wanted to take the secure completion as uh, Devin Tompkins is the only guy catching the ball today. <laughs> so Devin takes that, that corner out. Hopefully he's in a deep third. Shemi Otto is probably our read one. Jefferson read two. Robinson, Gray, and Devin Tompkins if nothing gets open. Throw it up to him. We're going to have Bijan there. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, no. All right. Fourth and 10 from the 39. Ugh, it's the playoffs. We've got to take our points. we got to take our points. It's brutal. And Youngway should have this. No problem. Wind is in our favor. And 56 yarder is good. Okay. Not our best first drive. We didn't run the ball one time. Um, so we probably need to do that. Bijan dropped that ball, which was really, really bad. I thought that was going to set up a fourth and short. Um, I would consider that a win for him keeping us out of the end zone, but we'll see. We got to get one stop on defense, two stops, three stops, um, to win this game. We know that Saquon's going to be a huge problem stopping him. When I set my training, I did make sure that my starters weren't playing, but somehow a lot of them are tired as, as we predicted, be Saquon Barkley is going to be a problem. Okuda, let's go! Let's go! Not a great read by him, but we will take that all day. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about this game is neither one of us have elite quarterbacks, so we have to be very careful about the decisions we make um, as we're going to run to the long side of the field here, the wide side. 
Okay, Bijan out in space, one man miss. Bijan! That was that was pretty. That was pretty. Just try to keep him off of us. Uh the pressure, I can feel it coming in. He does line up and okay, this is I mean, this is our automatic touchdown play. Yeah, and he plays it. He tries to. It's not a, Let's go, baby. Another touchdown. Well, that's our first touchdown, second score. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that's an automatic touchdown. If if you don't line up in the right personnel, it's game over. Yep. And I've said this a lot over the past couple games that we've played. We're up. So we can afford to give up a little bit of underneath stuff. If we're not in a chew clock situation, it's the first quarter. But we can afford to play a little bit more for taking underneath stuff and overall just not giving up the big plays because that's what's going to you know get give him the lead as he makes a really bad read and we get the first interception of the season with brandon hill okay we called it out in the pregame that brandon hill had not gotten an interception and we get one right there gotta love it oh he sent a lot of pressure a lot of pressure Bijan. That's a pick. Oh, my God. So I screwed up there. Um, I think I made the wrong read. I probably had an over the top route, um, but I just misjudged that angle Threw a bullet pass. Th should have thrown a high pass. I definitely had someone over the top Jetta. So that's a mistake. Um, so he gets one back. It's all right. It is what it is. Force him back inside. Beautiful. It's all we have to do. All right. I'm going to assume that he's taking some short stuff here. It's totally fine by me. Brandon Hill, two picks? That might be six. That might be six for Brandon Hill. No, nope, I'm an idiot. Okay, th I don't know what is going on. He is one of the better players. He's like clearly in the playoffs. Like, we have had some battles in previous games. He's thrown three interceptions in this opening half. Shocking, as he does go to uh, adjust to that play. As we're going to get Devin Tompkins the ball. He's going to break a tackle oh, down at the one. Brutal. Um, let's see if we have any other RPOs. Uh, I don't really want to run one. I want to get Malik Willis these these touchdowns. He needs to win a player of the week and get these, this XP. As Justin Jefferson, I don't think it's a catch yet. Maybe we go to him. We definitely go to him. Just kidding. Devin Tompkins, the only guy getting open on this entire team, scores. So we will go up 16, if not 17, nothing. We've made a mistake. He's made a lot more. That's that's the name of this game is we're not doing anything special. We're just making fewer mistakes than he is. All right, we're going to put the pressure on a little bit. You know, I think we can afford to play for. We put the pressure on a little bit. There we go. Zach Harrison, baby. Nothing's open. Absolutely nothing is open. That's a. How does T.D. Barrett say? He's like, that's a Snuggie. That's a Snuggie. If I wasn't such a terrible Madden player, that's his fourth pick of the game. That's his fourth pick of the game. That, that is what it is. Like, that's a bad read by him. Even worse play by me. He's going to run this ball. Clearly. Oh, and I came inside. He's gone. Yeah, he scored. Yep, that's my fault. My fault. I made several mistakes. One was not picking off the play before. Two was coming inside with everybody. And three was this weird click on I tried to do. I just tried to slow him down and he slid right off me. He might go for two here. I would go for two if I were him. No? Okay. This cover three shell he's in is is holding me in check as we get sacked for a big loss here. All of the momentum right now is going his way. We have to do something to take it back. And we don't necessarily need to, you know, reinvent the wheel. We should do what we've been doing, which is stop making stupid plays and execute on offense. That's it. All right. A couple of different reads here. Let's see what we got. We're going to have something over the middle here. First down. We'll take it. All right. We are going to go on chew clock here. We can't, we really can't give him the ball back at any point. Um, if we're going to maintain this 
uh, this lead, that's going to be prefaced on us maintaining the lead. I wonder if we can get Bijan again. Throw it. Good. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, we go off two clock now. Second and two, we're going to come down to... We're going to take it down to, I don't know, maybe 13, 14 seconds. Take a timeout. I'm not giving it... I will not, like, take this guy lightly, even though he's thrown those three picks. Like, ain't, ain't no way he's getting the ball back. And this is the automatic touchdown play, yada, yada, yada. Oh, he covered it. Never mind. All right, we didn't get it. It's fine. It's fine. He covered, he covered that one play. Good job. Good job. I was also, you know, responding to something for work, so did not... Uh, Pay attention on that play. Will it cost me the championship? Yeah, he does start with ball. So that was actually a really bad swing for us not scoring there because he could make it 14-7, three-point game at the end of this drive. 15-7 if he goes for two. Mine. Oh, my God, that was too easy. Kalon, get it. Oh. All right. I mean, I feel even better about this game now. Um, what are the rules on two clock? Could I go on it to give myself a little bit of a strategic advantage here? What's his face? Oh. That's got to be six for me. I mean, that's a bad play by me. All right. I mean, this is absolutely a ball game, right? Six point game. I got to go down and score now. This is we come off two clock for this too, based on based on that swing. Like, what if we took out Danny Gray and put in Dalvin Cook, right? And just put him in to run, like, a drag or a, a zig route, right? We haven't converted a third down yet today? Dang. Right, so the read one is Jefferson here. Read two is going to be Bijan. Read three, Danny Gray. Read four, Shemiato. Read five, Dalvin Cook. See what he does. Yeah, he's open. Good play, good play. I'm going to go for this. I feel like at this point in the game, I can either go down and score at the end uh, and win. If, if he, Assuming he scores and goes up 21-20, I can go down and score. But I also don't want to give him the ball, so we're just going to go for it. And we're going to run it with Bijan. We're going to get it pretty comfortably. First down, six and a half yards per carry for Bijan. He's not having a Saquon game, but he's doing exactly what we needed to. It's Justin Jefferson's tired. You haven't done anything. You, you got one incompletion, man. Bijan, first down. Let's go. That is that is a massive play for a couple reasons. Most importantly, that we get to chew clock a little bit more, and provided we don't turn the ball over, we can get a field goal, go up by more than a touchdown. Um, make it a two-possession game. There we go, Dalvin. Good carry. Good carry. Bijan. That's probably the game. Probably the game. They want me to go for two. Yeah, mathematically, that makes sense. Oh, Bijan in the zone? Let's give him the rock. Let's give him the rock. He did not get it. Let him let him go up and down the field or outside and down the field. The only thing he can't do is get a huge play. Brandon Hill. Regression game. No picks all season. Three in this game. Regression. Or just kidding, we do. Fourth and inches. You know we're going for it. You know it. Okay, so he's in goal line himself, and he is also offside. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. Who is that? Is that Cam Curl over there? Yeah, let's see it. Yep, he comes out in man. Jetta down. That's game. Get actually. Uh, uh. I actually wanted to go down and get fewer yards, if that makes sense, to give ourselves another first down. Um, now the touch, uh, the timeouts come back into play. Um, because I went that way. Justin Jefferson's first catch on the game. Bizarre.
have a game. Devin Tompkins, baby. Is that his third touchdown? Like sixth catch? Second touchdown of the game. Shemi Otto has one. Do we have a pick six? I don't think we have any pick sixes. We have five total touchdowns, I believe, or four and a field goal. Four touchdowns and a field goal. Two for Devin Tompkins, one for Shemi Otto, and one rushing with Bijan Robinson. It's a good game. It's a good game. Can you make a like like I I love this guy. Been friends with him for like four or five years now. Can you make a worse read, man? Good lord. Six interceptions? I don't think I played like I didn't play that well. As Bijan goes over hundred yards. And Bijan ices the game with a first down. We win 33-14 against the Shamrocks. Should never have moved. Never have moved. We're going to move on to the divisional round. We're probably playing the Packers, uh, I would assume. Uh, if we do not play the Packers, I do not know who we would play, uh, but we lost to him earlier in the season. I cannot wait for that rematch. As we take a look at the stats, Malik Willis, 18 for 26, 191, 3 and 1. Not the best game, but we will take it from our normal development quarterback. Bijan, 18 for 112 and 1 as well as Dalvin, 2 for 12. Devin Tompkins, probably the player of the game on offense, 8 for 47 and 2. Really was the only guy getting open on our team at Shemi Otto, 4 for 38 and 1. Bijan, 3 for 33, including he had a big catch, I believe, at some point in the game. Danny Gray had that clutch uh, third down conversion, which was huge. And then the disappointment was Justin Jefferson. One catch for 35 yards. He dropped at least two passes, um, and there were at least two other breakouts. So we tried to get him the ball. Um, it just wasn't happening uh, as we don't really need him to win. Maybe we don't re-sign him. Uh, as for sacks, there was a bunch on his side. He had three. We only had one from the Zach Harrison, which was honestly a pretty fluky play. However, on the uh, tackles for loss front, Jonathan Allen had two. Khalil Mack had two. Uh, Zach Harrison had that one. Um, his defensive line definitely put, outplayed ours. Where we dominated was clearly the defensive backs. Brandon Hill, four interceptions, bringing him up to like top half of the league, top half of the team uh, in picks for the year. Kalen Barnes had that one that almost went for six. Obviously, we threw that bad throw to Derek Forrest. Jeff Okuda had the first pick of the game that honestly, he never really recovered from throwing that one. Uh, so that's going to do it for this one. I will see you guys in the divisional.